Hey y'all, so welcome back. So today we're doing another hair review. Now this is from the company Ula Hair. Now they sent me a headband unit. Who tied a headband wigs? Not me, okay? <laughs> because you know what? Them headband wigs, be coming, they be coming in handy. They be coming through for your girl. Especially when I do stuff like take my uh, braids out or something like that and I don't have enough time to do a quick style or anything like that. Then I just grab my headband wig, juice it up, spray it down, oil sheen it up, whatever, throw a headband on it, get them edges together, and I'm out the dough. All right. But like I was saying, the company Ula Hair reached out to me and they wanted to send me one of their units. Now they um, sent me a Brazilian Deep Wave in 22 inches. Okay, so this is how the bag looks. It's one of the standard uh, hair bags. But I love their logo. I love this black and gold. It looks very regal. That looks very nice. This is the back side of it. All right. Now, ladies, when I tell y'all they jam-packed this little bag full of goodies, they jam-packed it full of goodies. All right, so let's jump right into it. So, first off, we have our unit right here. Okay, they gave us headbands, of course. So let's look at the headbands before we look at the unit. So they gave me a variety of headbands. So they gave me, how many is it? It is five. Okay, so they gave me the traditional headband, which actually goes with my little shirt I have on today. So that is cute. You got your traditional headband. And then they gave us the ones that has the elastic. So A plus for that. I love that. All right. Okay, let's sit those down. Let's jump into the unit. So like I said, this is their Brazilian 22 inches. And it, they sent it in your standard plastic hair baggie comes in a net it has their tag on it Ula hair get that netting off and it's deep wave okay and right this is 22 inches it says it on the tag okay so let's go over how the unit is constructed. It has those combs in it, which I sometimes take the combs out because sometimes it irritates the top of my head. So every now and then I would clip the combs away. And then it has the Velcro straps on it to help secure the head man. Okay. And this is how the deep wave looks. This is very, very soft. Okay, let's see what else they put in this little bag. Okay, they gave me a wig cap. They gave us some paperwork on it. It tells you if you share your experience, then you can win free hair. It has their social media on the back for any contact. And then... It has instructions. What does these instructions say, y'all? Let's see right quick. Okay, okay, okay. Um, It's just telling you if you decide, if you buy hair from them, if you decide to sew the web, it gives you instructions. It tells you how to shampoo it, how to hair condition it. Um, it tells you if what to do if your scalp start itching. Okay, Ula. It has do's and don'ts with the hair. And then it also gives you, this is nice. It has literature on the recommendation on what you should use to wash, condition, and style the hair. And then it also tells you about curling the hair, um, dyeing the hair, which is what we're going to do to this unit. It gives you options on what they recommend to use to dye the hair. And it tells you how to measure the hair. So this is the first time I've ever had a hair company that gave this much 
literature on dealing with the hair. So, oh, look, that is an A plus so far. All right. And then the next thing, what else? It's two more items that they have me here. Okay. So they sent some lashes. All right. And those are really cute. Okay. Because sometimes when I get the lashes, some of them look a little skimpy that I just end up throwing them away. But this is actually a pair that I think I'll see myself uh, rocking. Yeah. And then they sent me a rat tail comb. And it has Ula on it. I wonder if this is one of those carbon combs that can withstand heat. Let me see. I think it is. Because it's, it's kind of thick. So, great job, Ula. Okay. Now, like I stated, because I have a couple of units, headband units, and I kind of want something different. It's the fall. So, I'm, I'm into my colors right now. So what I want to do is I want to actually add some color to this unit. All right. Now, I don't really want to bleach the unit because I don't really want to ruin the curl pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the hair color and I'll be back and we'll get started on coloring this unit. All right, ladies. So as you guys can see, I have the unit on our mannequin head and I just took our headband and just attached it to secure it to the mannequin head. Now, normally, I will probably put a plastic bag on the mannequin, but I don't think uh, any color would hit right there because I'm basically going to be coloring from here on down. I don't want our whole units to be colored, and I will be using this dark and lovely. All right, so this is in the color spicy red. Okay, now, when using a box color, it's kind of simple, but make sure you read the instructions read each step and don't forget to wear your uh protective gloves and then change change your clothes of course like i just changed into a t-shirt all right so i already have my color mixed and i'm just gonna start applying it to the hair okay so like i said i want to go from here on down so i'm gonna start what do i want to start um let me start at the the roots. I'll start, I mean at the ends. So I'm going to start at the ends first. And I'm just going to squeeze the color on there. And then I'll just work my way up with it. And I bought two boxes of colors. Two boxes of color, the same exact color. And I'm just going to get that work up through the hair. Okay, y'all, so I am done saturating the unit with the hair color. I use both boxes of color, and as I was distributing the color throughout the hair, you wanna make sure that you take each hair strand and kinda of space it apart just to make sure that the air is actually oxidizing the unit so that it can help with the processing of the color. Now, one thing I do want to say is I hope by us uh, coloring this unit that the curl pattern don't really have a significant change. As you guys can see, it is still curly at the top, but when we added the color on there, it the ends look kind of straight, but I'm just hoping that that is just the product we're weighing the unit down and once we actually get the color rinsed out and neutralized and conditioned that the curls will pop right back in okay so i am about to grab a plastic bag and i'm just going to cover the ends and i'm going to let this process i think on a box it says to let it process where is it uh it's on the inside of the box i don't know what i did with the instructions but I think I'm going to let it process for about 30 to 40 minutes because this is the color that we're going for. And then it has the colors on the back. So it's basically saying that, oh, right here. So it's basically saying if your natural color is this, then these are the results we're going to get. So our natural color was a dark brown. So we're supposed to get 
this color right here. Okay, so we're supposed to get the second row. So like I said, I'm going to put the plastic bag on there and then we'll let it process. Okay, so I just wanted to come back and show you ladies really quick how I'm tying the plastic bag on the hair. So I gathered the ends and then I'm just going to tie the bag like that. And we're just going to let it process. Hey y'all, so welcome back. So it has been a couple of days since we processed our unit and I wanted to come and show you guys how it look. All right, I am loving the color that turned out. At first I was a little afraid because I didn't know exactly what color it was gonna be. It wasn't looking like the ginger color while it was processing that was on the box, but after I let it dry and everything, this is the color turn out. So that's really, really pretty to me. I also was thinking because we have a few pieces that's more like um like a copper orange. Maybe later on down the line, I, I could put a rinse on top of it and then I'll get uh, even more vibrant color. All right. So one thing I do want to notice, though, that I do want to tell you guys that I did notice the texture of the unit change from when we added the color onto it. So as you can see at the top, it still has kind of like a tight, wavy look. And then when we get to the bottom, when we put that color on it, it kind of loosened it up and kind of made the waves drop. So that is something to consider. If you don't really want your uh, waves to drop, then I wouldn't recommend coloring it. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get this unit on and I'll be back with us styling it. All right, y'all. So I have the unit on and this is how it is looking. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray the unit down just a little bit with some water just to get those curls popping a little bit more. So that is what I'm doing. Just spraying it down with a little water. All right. And then next I am going to take this. Um, I'm actually going to take two things. So I'm going to take this leave-in cream from African Pratt and I'm going to put a little of that on the hair and then I'm going to take this curl custard from Cantu and I'll put that on the hair as well. Okay, and when I wear my wavy hair, I actually like for it to have like, um, I don't know, I don't like for it to look super, super wet. I like when it dries and it has a little bit of volume to it. So that's just my preference, but you ladies can rock your unit however you want to do it. But that's just what I like because I like volume to my uh, units. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add those two products to the hair. Okay, ladies, so as you guys can see, I have let the wig dry for about 10 to 15 minutes after applying product to it. And then I sprayed it with a little oil sheen just to give it some shine and luster. And this is how it turned out. I also plopped on one of the headbands that they sent me, which I think is very adorable. So ladies, if you're feeling this, then definitely check them out. Like I stated, the texture did slightly change. It went from a deep wave to now like a water wave which is okay with me because I am definitely loving this color. All right, so like I stated before, headband wigs are definitely still winning, especially in my world. They're very convenient, and they're just very cute and just very easy to style. So if you're feeling them, then definitely hit up Ula's hair. Ladies, I want to thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.